dramatically speed up your planogram creation by using our rapid item placement or RIP processors. The RIP processors can automatically build the plan with a single mouse click. There are currently three RIP processors. We'll look at them each one by one. The first RIP processor works by using a list of UPC codes that are in order from top left to bottom right of the plan. We'll load an existing list or queue. The first UPC code is repeated, so we'll have two facings of it, followed by four facings of the next UPC, and so on. This list can come from a spreadsheet, word processor, or you can use a scan gun on an existing display to scan in the product codes. You can export the database to Excel and sort and select the desired products then paste the UPC code column of the spreadsheet into the RIP processor and it will build the plan based on the order of the products. There are several options once the list is present. You can place the product one by one or you can use the mouse to indicate the start and end position to place the products in a peg area. This is how that looks. You can also use the list to fill shelves you can even fill the plan and create shelves where needed. In this example, we'll take an empty display and build the entire plan with a single mouse click. Here's our RIP1 processor filled with products ready to go. We'll fill the plan and create shelves as well. One inch high, 12 inches deep, and one inch grab room. And when we click OK, the plan is built in a second. The RIP2 processor is similar to the first but is more powerful and flexible. First we'll start with a plan with shelves, then let's look at our second RIP processor. Let's load an existing queue into the RIP2 processor. Instead of UPC codes, you can use SKU codes, item names, whatever, to identify the product. You can decide how many faces or products to place, how high to place them, and how wide or you can let the program decide how to place the products for you. In this case, we'll first stack product faces vertically as many will fit. Then, if more room is needed, products will be stacked one behind another, and if still more room is needed, more horizontal faces will be created. When we click OK, the plan will be built. We'll just zoom in The RIP3 processor is different from the first two. While RIP1 and 2 work based on the number of products or faces you want to place, RIP3 works based on the amount of linear shelf space assigned to each product. First we'll start with a plan with shelves, then we'll look at our RIP processor, and we'll load up a queue. Instead of UPC codes, you can use SKU codes, item names, whatever to identify the product. Here is where you assign the amount of linear shelf space assigned to each product. You can select if you want to place the product on its front, side, or top. There's a choice of five merchandising types you can choose from. You can optionally cap the product horizontally and vertically. When we click OK, the plan will be built. We'll just zoom in a little bit to see more detail.